to the next presentation and the next uh, presentation i think dr vineet joshi a very good evening to all of you i am dr vineet joshi i am from pune i am consultant in cornea and anterior segment in nvpi hyderabad and i thank aios for giving me this opportunity to present on the aios innovator forum today and i'll be taking you through a story of developing an anterior segment imaging device which is a simple universal attachment for patients and to begin with i like to show i would like to show you an image and a video sent by a patient from his native village where he couldn't follow up with us for a period of 2 to 3 months now isn't that the quality of image uh, and the video that you would expect from a patient for a teleconsult to make some clinical decision making uh, how did we reach till here and to get to that let's understand what is the problem that we dealt with existing imaging equipment that we have are bulky and they are stationed primarily at the tertiary centers but when it comes to uh, increasing the quality of imaging towards the um, uh, the secondary centers or the peripheral centers that need was highlighted during the lockdown when the most of the patients who were at risk like the patients with infections injuries the extremes of age and the lower economic strata could not access these uh, uh, the urban centers uh, with these equipment patients have a equipment the smartphone with advanced cameras with them at least one person in the household has a smartphone with a camera now the pro the only problem lies is that the smartphone camera is not optimized for imaging in ophthalmology especially its optics the focus the illumination and the intuitive uh, uh, the smartphone imaging app is all uh, uh, devised around imaging scenic photographies at distance but not at micro imaging uh, for anterior segment structures so to to deal with this we investigated the problem uh, and we analyzed the set of around 340 images sent by patients during the lockdown and we figured out that although the patient is feeling that they are sending the images of the eye and expecting a treatment for the doctors and most of these images lacked the clinical frame of interest uh, there was inherent shake uh, lack of focus poor illumination and lighting and most of the images lacked magnification where uh, the image used to grain out on zooming the result was 84% of images were not acceptable to the clinicians for decision making uh, and even more so they were not acceptable to even make a decision whether a patient needs a higher center referral or not to add to this problem is the variety of phones that are available in the indian market with customized customizable uh, smartphone camera options which makes our to find a solution even more difficult there are solutions existing in the international markets where uh, there are excellent devices available for smartphone based lit lamp photography but these are bulky devices these are complex and the more the complex the device becomes it becomes uh, it becomes more customized for that particular smartphone model which were primarily tested on apple and samsung phones which the indian population would not have that much in form so we tried to figure out a solution where uh, we were constantly seeing the quality of images captured using smartphone our solution and the slit lamp images and we were trying to bridge this gap by implementing more technology standardizing the imaging process and keeping the cost into consideration for the patients so we came up with a universal solution uh, where with a hardware and a software where the device can be portable universal and stable and the capturing of image could be very easy on a secure sharing platform intuitive and the results could be consistent we call it grabby whose distance is calibrated such that the uh, image captured using the app will come within the focal length of the lens of the uh, smartphone camera uh, so we conducted this small study and we figured out that the quality of imaging did improve using our solution and uh, in the column 1 and 3 is the images captured during grabby light and uh, on the column column 2 and 4 the cmi is captured using slit lamp photography and we could see that the clinicians acceptance rate to make a decision had increased up to 53% and uh, triage the patients to higher referral centers had increased up to 88% now we figured out a particular way of how to capture uh, the image uh, how to get those perfect camera settings converted this protocol into the app uh, once we figured out this we trained the patients and we handed it over to them as you can see these are the images sent by the patients from their home uh some of them were post dsec post dmec patients and also some of them were post tabcl infectious keratitis patients 
most of the problems with the perspective focus illumination resolution were solved and the quality of imaging had improved significantly imaging and documentation was pretty smooth and uh, across the different uh, uh, anterior segment diseases as we captured these images into the clinics and uh, we had the confidence that we can translate this uh, to our patients this was the same patient which i showed earlier uh, this was a patient underwent pk could not follow up during the lockdown so we trained his son and he used this device at home and we were able to follow him up for 3 to 4 months uh, we couldn't check the iop as but uh, the patient's graft was doing well and we could titer his medication and all things even for children who had problem in coming and referring this child had uh, been diagnosed with pythium keratitis we trained her father to use the device and the patients know very well how to use their own smartphone cameras which is a plus point that we just have to assist them to get good um, a smartphone uh, get good anterior segment imaging as a result he was able to send us serial images every two days we could gauge the need of tabcl on thinning and we could also see that the ulcer was responding to medications and we could decrease the follow ups for the patients just based on these images some of the high risk patients like mentally retarded children can also be monitored in the clinic when they are not that cooperative you can hand it over to their parents and they are very comfortable to uh, image and find out what the problem was as in this case was uh, us with high drops in a down syndrome child uh, the training process is very uh, simple you can actually train your own staff and they can hand it over to the patients it's very intuitive for patients to learn and uh, send the images to the doctor and you would notice that the quality of their imaging goes on improving as they keep sending the images every week so you need not spend too much time uh, with the patient to train this your staff can do it for you once integrated with the uh, emr this will add a huge value to teleconsultations and uh, this will also open the doors for us for standardized anterior segment imaging on teleconsultations it helps us to apply newer ai algorithms to diagnose various diseases like infections or any other corneal degenerations or scars and this can this is possible now once uh, this platform is standardized thank to in uh, incorporate this into our existing connect care platform and we are in the process of validation of this uh, uh, for the use of teleconsultation and will be out with the results very soon uh so this was the story of grabby uh, the smartphone imaging adapter which is primarily used to save the visit of patient this is the team that has worked behind for the last one and a half year to develop this and i would like to thank aios for giving us this opportunity to present this on this forum thank you very much thank you vinit uh, i think uh, that was a very nice presentation dr rohit uh, would you want to uh, give I some think, comments uh, i think he did mention a couple of things uh, about i mean i was looking at what is the way forward and he mentioned that he's looking at ai and other platforms to do it but uh, did you compare your uh, work with different pixel cameras or do you feel that all or any cameras would do work work the same way because uh, one of the issues with any google based uh, uh, ai is, is that you know the cameras needs to be of very good qualities yes sir so uh, for this we primarily tested it on uh, five uh, uh, different company phones which was redmi um, uh, oppo which were more commonly available with the uh, indian population and as you correctly mentioned uh, for ai it's like gigo like garbage in garbage out you have to have a good quality image to first get this uh, analysis so i think that will come a bit way ahead not initially to go with uh, uh, for to begin with we were planning to set the platform where uh, at least the image of cornea is coming in yeah. clear once that comes into place uh, we have a team in place which can boost up the images to bring yeah. you to a certain quality level and once that is through there are algorithms already being developed in place yeah. which then can be applied for the same yeah absolutely i think uh, that that part was very well clear well very well covered thank you uh, vinit and all the best